We go to Article 17. This is a pilot for the solar farm. Uh, recommended by the Finance Committee 301 extension, Select Board 40. Motion reads Move that the town authorize and approve an agreement for a payment in lieu of taxes pursuant to the provisions of Mass General Shaw Law, Chapter 59, Section 38HB, and any other enabling legislation between the town and Solar City Corporation or its successors for a solar facility to be installed and operated in the town of Hadley and further authorize the select board to take any action as may be necessary to carry out the vote taken here under. Do I have a second? I mean a motion. Second. I have Mr. Devines. If I could just take a minute. Uh, I think we ought to thank Brian for the 12 years he spent as a selectman in the town of Hadley, and now he jumps into the moderator's job. Thank you. Uh, the town is negotiating a payment in lieu of taxes agreement with the solar field installers who are associated with Hampshire College. The two megawatt solar field will be built off of Bay Road near the Amherst town line. As part of the financing for this project, the developer for the Hampshire County has approached the town of Hadley for a payment in lieu of taxes, hence PILOT, P-I-L-O-T. Negotiations are almost complete and uh, the town and, and the corporation have agreed to $10,000 per megawatt based on a two, with a 2.5% annual escalator increase. The benefit to the town is we get more money than, we tax, than if we tax them just directly. The benefit to the solar company is that allows them to project out uh, what their costs are going to be, and apparently that's important to them. I think we ought to support this. Thank you. And for FYI, we have a pilot agreement with the solar farm that's off of Mill Valley Road, if you're wondering. We did a pilot on that one a couple years ago. We have three pilots now. Same thing. Edwin. Okay, so this one is just covering the solar farm at Hampshire College. Yes. Correct. Yes. But the other ones are... They've already paid. done it. Thank you. Any other questions? Hearing none, all, all in favor of the motion for Article 17, raise your green card. Opposed? Unanimous. Article 18. Hopkins Academy 350th article. Motion reads, move that the town transfer from the fund balance of the Hopkins Academy 350th anniversary committee $14,240 to provide startup money for a grant program administered by Hopkins Academy 350th anniversary committee. Do I have a motion? Second. Motion and a second, uh, Mr. Selectman Devine. Mr. Moderator, I'd like, uh, if I could, to uh, uh, ask Mr. Joe Pelis and Catherine Tudrin to speak to this article. Joe Pelis, a longtime member of, the, of Hadley, now moved all the way across the river to the turncoat town of Hadfield. But I'd like to ask if we could please allow him to speak to this article, as he is the uh, chairman for the, 350, the Hopkins 350th. Sir? Thank you. Selectman Devine, I would allow Mr. Pelis to speak to this article. Go ahead. Thank you. Uh, first of all, uh, I want to in indicate here that the money we're talking about is not money that was appropriated by the, by the town, and we're not asking the town for $15,000. This is money generated by the 350th committee, and we utilized the um, treasurer and the town, actually. This is how we paid our bills. All our money that was generated was given to the town treasurer. So this is the remainder of our money that we generated. It was not money at all given by the community. We're not asking for $15,000. We're asking to take this money out of the town account and we are, we'd be establishing what we call the Edward Hopkins Education Foundation. All this money will be given back to the school systems in Hadley. And this foundation will uh, actually on a yearly basis try to generate more money and we don't know the amount that we'll be able to give each year. We want to spread this out over a time frame. 
but one thing I want you to remember is that we're not asking for 15,000. The town is not, did not give us the 15,000. It's money that we generated that is left in the town treasury. We want that transferred to us and we'll be applying for a um, um, 501c um, uh, nonprofit status. Uh, we, we need that before the town will issue us that particular amount of money. But w we will be given all this money back to the school systems. The, el the eligible people will be from elementary school through high school. And we'll be handling this through a grant process. Uh, the teachers will have uh, an opportunity once a year to fill out a grant form. Our committee will evaluate the need. And we will basically, we won't be able to fund, act unless we really start to generate a lot of money, at the very beginning, we will be able to fund the extras that were not included in the school budget. And that's our approach. The other part of this is that um, the, we, we, our mission basically is to enrich the educational experience of the students in the Hadley Public School System. And uh, actually what we're actually be doing is uh, setting up the foundation will be fulfilling the wishes of Edward Hopkins whose will provided money for education. So I, uh, we would appreciate uh, getting, we'll call it our money, back to put in our account. And again, I just want to thank the community and uh, everyone here for giving us a tremendous amount of support and we were able to fulfill all our wishes on this particular committee. Thank you. Thank you, Joe. <laughs> Any other questions for um, Article 18? Hearing none, all in favor, raise your card. All opposed, it's unanimous. We move to Article 19, Chief of Police. Motion reads, move that the town adopt the provisions of Mass General, General Law, Chapter 41, Section 97A, relating to the powers and duties of the Chief of Police. We have Joyce Trungalo gonna speak this, but before she does, I would like our new Chief, Mike Mason, to please stand up and be recognized. I don't know if everybody in town knows who he is. We got a move. Do I have a motion? In a second. Joyce Trungalo. This is something we did also when um, Chief Spankenable for the fire department was hired. Um, so we're doing it again for the police chief. This article changes the powers and duties of the police chief to include more managerial control over policies and activities of the police department. A police department that faces Hadley's many law and order problems needs a strong commander to direct the activities of the department. Currently, the police chief is required to involve the select board in departmental policies. The select board supports this article. Thank you. Thank you, select woman Chungalo. Any other questions? Hearing none, all in favor, please raise your green card. Opposed? It's unanimous. We now move to uh, CPA article number 21. If you remember, we did article 20 in the consent, so we, we've gone to over that. Article 21 is the Lake Warner Dam. Motion reads, move that the town extend Kestrel Trust in the Friends of Lake Warner's request to extend fundraising deadline from May 1st, 2015 to May 1st, 2016. Do I have a motion? And I have a second. Any discussion about the motion? I'm a member of the uh, Friends of Lake Warner. Uh, as it states in the article, this became necessary because we lost $125,000 funding. And uh, we're simply asking for an extension of the money that was overwhelmingly voted for by the citizens of Hadley. 
There are no new monies being requested. This is simply an extension. Thank you very much. Thank you. And I'll read currently. Uh, community, CPA committee recommends this seven zero two uh, two absences. Finance committee recommends three zero one, and the select board recommends this motion four to zero. Andy Morse. Uh, Andy Morris, written 45 Roosevelt Street. I'm on the CPA committee and I'm also on the Friends of Lake Warner. But I want to invite everyone down to the pond on May 16th for the first uh, North Hadley Day. We're going to have a tethered hot air balloon and free canoe rides and a cookout. So I hope to see everyone there. Thank you. Could you please keep it to the scope of the motion, please? Now I think I'm in trouble. I just want to let everybody know that we did receive information in the selectman's office this week that the 124 last week that the $125,000 did get put back in the appropriations as far as the house budget goes. Representative Sybeck called us and told us it did. So I think that's optimistic news, and hopefully it goes forward on that on that end. Sorry, bro. Updates are acceptable. Thank you, Jerry. Any other questions? Hearing none, all who support article, the motion for Article 21, raise your green card. Opposed? Passes unanimously. CPA Article Number 22. These are all. These are all going to be simple majority. Motion reads: Move that the town authorize the select board to acquire, by purchase, gift, or any or eminent domain on such terms and conditions as the board deems appropriate an agricultural preservation restriction on all or portions of two parcels of land located along Route 47 Scenic Byway near Callahan Well Site <clears throat> containing approximately 17 acres in aggregate both located off of Lawrence Plain Road as shown on map assessors map number three parcels 67 and 69 partial and further to appropriate $5,000 from the Community Preservation Act general funds for foregoing acquisition and costs related thereto and to authorize the select board to apply for, accept, and expend any funds which may be provided by the Commonwealth or other sources to defray all or a portion of the cost of acquiring said parcel and enter into all agreements and execute any and all instruments as may be necessary or convenient to effectuate the foregoing purposes. Do I have a motion? Second. Discussion. Shell Horowitz, 16 Barks to Lane. Two quick questions. One, where exactly on Lawrence Plain Road are we talking about? Parcels 67 and 69. That That's the me. best I can do for you. Anybody, can anybody speak to that? Oh, here we go. And um, is it safe to assume that this is a uh, considered a friendly act by the property owners? I assume so. Yeah. Okay. Good. Any other questions? Hearing none, all in favor, signify by raising your green card. Opposed? It's unanimous. That's a very good point, Mr. Devine. At this time, I would love to thank the Mother's Club for providing refreshments like they normally do. And Denise, Denise, if you have a cold soda there, I'd, I'd appreciate it. Thank you. <laughs> um, Article 23, motion reads, move that the to town transfer 3,250 from the transfer development rights account for an agricultural preservation restriction on approximately 17 acres of land located off of Lawrence Plain Road, shown on Assessor's Map 3 as parcels 67 and 69 partial. We have a motion. Second. Would anybody from the CPA like to speak to this? Uh, Paul Alexanderson, uh, 33 Aquilina Road. I'm on the 
Conservation Commission, and uh, this is a additional funding for the previous article. Thank you, Paul. Any other questions, concerns, discussion? Hearing none, all in favor, signify by raising your green card. Opposed? It's unanimous. Okay. Article 24. Motion reads, move that the town authorize the select board to acquire by purchase, gift, and or eminent domain on such terms and conditions as the board deems appropriate. An agricultural preservation restriction on all or portions of four parcels of land containing a total of approximately 93 acres located off Rocky Hill Road and Spruce Hill Road and shown as Assessor's Map 5G, Parcel 19, Assessor's Map 10A, Parcels 37 and 48, Assessor's Map C as Parcel 3, and further to appropriate $45,625 from the CPA Open Space Set Aside and to transfer $45,625 from the Transfer and Development Rights Accounts for the foregoing acquisitions and costs related thereto and authorize the select board to apply for, accept, and expend any funds which may be provided by the Commonwealth or other sources to defray all or a portion of the cost of acquiring said parcel and enter into all agreements and execute any and all instruments as may be necessary or convenient to effectuate the foregoing process. Do I have a motion? So moved. Second. Discussion. All in favor? Signify with your green card. Opposed? Passes. What? Did I do something wrong? Yes. All right, now this is where the meeting takes a drastic turn, okay? We have some zoning articles here. Um, I'm going to allow everybody a few minutes to read them because they're multiple pages and the planning board will be speaking to them. So like I said, I'm going to give you a couple minutes to read through them and then I'll read the motion and the planning board will speak to them. Is your amendment on the first or the second one? Okay. If everybody doesn't know, Jim Maximowski, Chairman of the Planning Board, is stepping to the microphone, ready to take questions. At this time, I'll read the motion for our Article 25. Move that the town amend the zoning bylaw and code of the town of Hadley related to floodplain overlay district as delineated in Article 25 of the annual town meeting warrant for May 7th, 2015 and incorporated by reference herein. Jim? So moved. Motion and a second. Go ahead. The planning. The Planning Board recommends acceptance of this article. This is actually, believe it or not, a housekeeping article. Um, right now, the, the zoning bylaw has basically two flood districts, the Hadley floodplain and the federal floodplain. And this lengthy article clarifies a few minor points, but because we renumbered one of the first articles in, or one of the first sections in the article, we had to renumber the entire article. That's why the whole thing appears here. And it's really just a clarification of a couple of minor points. Um, that's really it. Nothing really changes in this. There is no change to the floodplain districts. Nothing that was permitted or prohibited um, changes in any of these things. Thank you, Jim. Anybody have any questions or concerns? Edwin Matusko. Jim, if you could just go over, where is this, uh, what part of town is affected mostly by this, and hit the high points. 
The Hadley floodplain affects Aquavita and the Honeypot section. The federal floodplain basically affects every place in town where there's a stream. <laughs> which, which therefore covers from one end of Hadley all the way to the other. Now the areas affected by the stream, by the federal floodplain, in many cases are only five or ten feet on either side of the stream. Okay, but there's, we're not changing any of that stuff. It's just, it's a clarification of things that were conflicting before between the two. We wanted to get rid of the Hadley floodplain district, um, but then we realized we would then be prom permitting development residential where it's now prohibited, and that's all of Aqua, or most of Aquavita and all of Honeypot. And when we realized that, I don't think we want to put houses out in those two sections. But for the planning board, didn't want to, not me. Anything further? Any other questions? This is a two-thirds majority for zoning. All in favor, signify with your green card. Opposed, it's unanimous. Article 26. The motion will read, move that the town amend the zoning bylaws of the code of the town of Hadley relating to this center village overlay district as delineated in article 26 of the annual town meeting warrant from May 7, 2015 and incorporated by reference herein. Do I have a motion? So moved. And a second? Jim Maximowski, Chairman, Planning Board. The Planning Board recommends acceptance of this article I do have one minor amendment on this one, and it's pretty simple. I move, I move to amend the motion, yeah, move to amend and the, the article by deleting section 19.2.9.4 in its entirety, which is the very last sentence in the article. And that sentence simply reads, all other aspects of this zoning bylaw shall remain unchanged in this district since we're rewriting the entire bylaw, everything kind of changes by the wording, so it's kind of a useless sentence. Okay, so I have a, I have a written amendment to the article, deleting, and we have a second. Um, I gotta hand that to the clerk, make sure it passes. Any questions about the motion for article 26? Seeing none, once again, we have to vote on the amendment. All right, all in favor of the amendment of deleting section 19.2.9.4. All in favor? Opposed? Amendment passes. Now we're to the amended article. Very brief description on this. This is the village overlay district that was adopted, um, well, 14 years ago and it affects the land from along Route 9 from the Coolidge Bridge up to the bike path and basically it says certain kind of buildings have to have a certain architectural appearance. Nothing will change with the wording of this article. Um, the Long Range Planning Committee worked for, I don't know, maybe 18 months, two years. <laughs> a while on a creating a village uh, the old village overlay is to basically keep the appearance, architectural appearance of the building to the colonial style. And when developers would come in, this related goes back a while obviously, they would come in, but we want the building to look colonial. And John, John Devine, God bless him, colonial, colonial, colonial. Well, unfortunately, what is colonial to me may be different from what's colonial to you. And the guidelines created drawn up, if you would, by the Long Range Planning Committee, kind of defined what colonial looks like for the town of Hadley. And the planning board adopted those in December, I think, of last year, maybe November, but anyway, the end of last year. And they also rewrote the section 19 to be a bit more clear. And incorporated in section 19 now is that the design guidelines are a recommendation for anybody that wants to build in there of what it should look like. 
Now, when, I don't think we don't expect anybody to follow all the recommendations in there. And again, the only recommendations are not the law or anything else, but it kind of defines what colonial should look like. That's already been adopted by the planning board. This kind of just puts a little bit of meat into the zoning bylaw that says um, we need to follow those and we need to at least hand them out so that we get close to some cohesive uh, appearances. Thank you, Jim. Any questions? All in favor of Article 26, signify with your green card. Opposed? Unanimous. It passes. That, I have a motion to adjourn. Do I have a second? Yes. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Motion closed. Thank you. Thank you, everyone, for coming.